Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the Orlando Game Room. Uh, today I'm going to be playing through my first play of Gloomhaven Jaws of the Lion. Uh, I, I have a bit of a history with Gloomhaven. I'll be perfectly honest, I hated it. Hated. But I got this because I want to give it another chance. Uh, my time playing Gloomhaven uh, was at a Dice Tower Con. Um, and I just found the game to be a miserable experience. But then again, as I thought about it, the guy teaching it, I mean, the guy was teaching four players of this fairly involved game. And this was not a learning game like this is. This was like the full game. So you could tell he was not used to teaching, let alone teaching four new people. Three, one of them was an experienced player. Um, yeah, and I didn't really care for the people I was playing with. The guy was just not a good teacher. It literally took us two hours to get through like two, one or two rounds of combat. And after a while, I had another game. I was like, guys, I'm done. I'm, I'm out. I'm not enjoying this at all. Blah, blah, blah. But I'm all for second chances. And this came out, uh, Gloomhaven Jaws of the Lion, which is a micro version of Gloomhaven. This is like, you can get this normal price for like 40 bucks anywhere you go. Um, I lucked out. I had a coupon plus a, a special credit card deal. I got it for 20 bucks. Can't complain. I figured that people got to love this game for some reason. It's got to be the number one game on BGG for a reason. So I wanted to give it another try, and I figured maybe easing myself into it with the rules and a beginner play, maybe I'll enjoy it. I hope so. I do. Like, well, part of me doesn't, because the, like, the last thing I need to do is spend a ton of money on a new game. But I am all for a good gaming experience. So... I have already set up the first scenario. Most of the game's functions are not actually in this scenario. This is basically teaching you to move and fight. Um, the idea, the story behind this, this is not really a spoiler because this is literally the intro, um, is that my characters uh, have been on a mission for... Um, Oh, well, I can't remember the name. Uh, whoever their mercenary group. Oh, the Jaws of the Lion. Derp. Uh, the Jaws of the Lion is the name of their mercenary group. And they've been looking for somebody who they're pretty sure is dead. They never found a body. And they're like, they're giving up. So they're tired. They're, they've been at it for a while. They've, they've exhausted themselves trying to find this guy. And they're finally, they've given up. They're coming home. And they're almost there. They can see the city. It's right there. And all of a sudden, out of the bushes, these little vermlings come out. They're, let me see if I can get, they're like little rat kobold type things. Um, very weak. They're very goblinish, koboldish kind of. But yeah, they jump out of the bushes and say they're going to steal our gold and eat the meat on our bones. So, yeah, I am not going to accept that. So a little bit about the Gloomhaven comes with four characters you can choose from. Oh, and I'm banging my camera here. Um, I chose the Void Warden and the Hatchet. Uh, the four characters that it comes with, the Hatchet is good for melee and ranged damage. They're just a straight up fighter. Um, here is their picture. Oh, I'm trying to get glare here. Um, but yeah, dude in a cloak with, uh, or chick in a cloak, I can't tell. Um, the Inox are a primitive and barbaric race, preferring to live in a small nomadic tribe scattered across the wilderness. Um, so yeah, I'm good at throwing axes and hurting things. Uh, the Void Warden, <clears throat> the game describes as being healing and support. I like healing and support. I play healers in a lot of games. Like, I'm a in Overwatch. I'm a damn good mercy. Um, the other two that I did not choose, uh, the Red Hook, which 
is described as range damage and monster control or monster manipulation um, or the demolitionist which was very tempting because blowing stuff up sounds fun but I went with the hatchet and the void warden I figure a tank and a healer you can't go wrong so I have everything set up um, you start with just six cards each this is your entire deck um, I have the Vermling Raiding Party set up here. Uh, this is kind of off screen. I just have the camera set up so that you can see the battlefield. That's about all you really need to see. Uh, because I'm playing a solo game with two players, I have three standard and one elite Vermling coming at me. What else? I think that's about, I mean, like I said, this is an intro game, so I think that's really about it. Um, I do think it's funny that there is a very deliberate rule in the game that says, you know, players can discuss, but they can't give numbers. So they can't tell, you know, like, hey, I have a really powerful attack, but I can't tell another player, hey, I have an attack that does six damage. Well, I'm playing solo, so I guess I can't tell myself things. I, 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 I don't know. We'll see. So... All right, so the way the game works, you have your hand and you're gonna pick two cards and you're going to, all of the cards have a top and bottom action. You are going to choose two cards and you see the middle number, is that's gonna be your initiative. Initiative goes low to high here are the three initiative. Well, I'll put them in the middle here, not that you can see them. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Let's see. So once it is your turn, you are going to take your cards and ch take the top action of one card and the bottom action of another, or of the other, in whatever order you want. Uh, so some of these are just basic attacks. Some of these are movement. They're, like The only way to move is with a card action. Um, this one, move five. Wow, okay. Uh, here's a heal action. Okay, okay. Ooh, so I've got... I have some powerful stuff here. I've got, like, multiple... Cool, all right. So I think... What did the game recommend? The game actually has a recommendation for your first turn. The hatchet to go center mass and double throw. So let's see what that means. Double throw is a melee attack of two, a range attack of three, and a target of two. Oh, two targets. Okay. Up to two enemies within three hexes suffer two damage plus a separate modifier for each. Disadvantage if adjacent. Okay. Um, so we're going to go with that. And what was the other? Center mass. Attack. A melee attack. Three. Range three. Uh, one. And, oh, okay. So I'm, I'm reading this wrong. So this is not... I guess I am. Um, okay. So this is... I'm sorry. I read this wrong. So this is an attack that does two damage at a range of three and two targets so that okay that makes a lot more sense um and this is one as well all right so we're gonna put that there so i'm going to <sighs> but i kind of want to move because both of these have a disadvantage if okay i'm actually gonna yeah i'm gonna take the higher initiative so that he goes last i'm gonna wait and see what the little rats do um and it recommends for the void warden suggestion and wicked string wicked scratch sorry all right so let's take a look at these cards um ooh. Wicked Scratch, 
one ally, oh, there's, because remember there's two on each card. Wicked Scratch, one ally within range two may perform an attack of four damage. That's pretty nice. Uh, or move two and strengthen range three. Move up to two hexes away, then you or one ally within three hexes gains advantage on all of their attacks. Okay. Suggestion. Force one enemy within range three to perform attack th a three damage attack, uh, targeting an enemy of your choice adjacent to them. Well, all right. So I can make him hit his friend. Neat. Or there's a move three and muddle, uh, which means one enemy within three hexes gains disadvantage on all of its attacks until the ending of its next turn. Um, yeah, I want those things closer to me because uh, I'm not moving very much. So I don't know why I'm... All right, so we're going to go Vermling Raider, Hatchet, and then Void Warden. So, all right. All right, so the Vermling Raiders all move as a group. Um, you can see their stat card here. Uh, the light gray side is the standard. The yellow side is the elite. Uh, the elite has 10 hit points. The others have five. They're all moving one and do two damage. So from what I see, they have to focus first, which, I mean, okay. Um, so this monster is going to move here, and I guess he'll attack. He has a base attack of two, and there are these cards here. Whenever you take an attack, you draw one of these. So I'll draw the top one. This monster right here is getting nothing, plus zero to his attack. That's not really that good for me because that's also not minus anything. Um, he's attacking the hatchet, who just took two damage, ouchie. Um, and then so everybody is gonna move one space forward and that's that turn. Okay, well, for the monsters anyway. Um, all right, <clears throat> so the next to go is the, who is this? The hatchet. Okay. So I think what I'm gonna do, uh, because all of my abilities all of the hatchet's abilities are, are put me at a disadvantage if I'm adjacent. So I'm going to do the move three. One, two, three. And then I'm going to do this attack, the two damage attack at range three. Actually, now I'm going to go to this hex. Um, yeah, that, because that was one, two, no, one, two, three, right. Because uh, now I am not adjacent to anybody and I can target two things for, let's see. Um, I'm gonna target these two. So the first one will take two damage, minus one, boo. Hold on, what's his number? These all have numbers on them. That's number six. Uh, and Mr. Elite here is number one. Of course he is. Um, and he will take no damage. But this is a special card. This card has this little icon here in the corner, which means even though I've only drawn one card, I shuffle the whole deck. Run. Oh, or or I just throw the deck all over the table. You know, that works too. Lord. <sighs> okay, we're going to do this. We're going to uh, riffle shuffle. 
it's hard to do that shuffle with tiny cards. I don't like tiny cards. Okay, so no modifier. Wait, hold on. So I just drew the two worst cards I could have drawn. The card that I drew that had the shuffle, that means zero damage. So I just did absolutely nothing for my first turn. Woo, go team. Uh, all right. Um, well, and I've kind of screwed myself now because All right, so what I'll do, one and two, I'm gonna use the move and strengthen card or ability here. Oops, I'm gonna move this up here away from the Void Warden. Uh, move two and strengthen. Um, I can strengthen anyone within range three. Grab a little strengthen condition. Uh, strengthen just means I gain advantage um, until the end of my next turn. So that's, that's handy. Um, so then my other ability, what did I do? Attack three. No, shoot, this really doesn't do squat for me. <sighs> All right, well, I just wasted a whole turn. I'm glad this is a learning game. Wow, I suck. All right, <clears throat> so that turn is over. I don't think there's anything to do for end of round until, um, yeah, okay. So, Mr. Void Warden, what am I going to do? I can move four and attack. I can heal, which would be super handy considering I'm already taking two damage. Um... Wow. Okay. So I can either move or ah, see this is kind of like I always felt part of why I didn't care for Gloomhaven is I never felt like I had good choices. I the whole game I felt like my choices were either screw myself now and be less screwed later or save my ass now and screw myself later. <sighs> like there was never a moment of ha ha, gotcha, you know? It was just a slog. But we're gonna, we're gonna muddle, muddle through. Maybe I'll pick up on it, maybe I'll enjoy it. Um, so I, I'm going to take this move two. Oh, well, that's interesting. Huh. So this one, move two, and then all adjacent enemies suffer one damage, and then an attack. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm going to do that. Okay. So what does the Void Warden have? I hope the Void Warden can do some damage here. <clears throat> okay, so the Void Warden has a single attack. Cool. But I can heal.
Wow. Okay. I can heal. All of my abilities are healing. Okay. See, and I just, I need to get away from this thing. Okay, so I'm going to... So we are now flipping the... Void Warden is going to go second. So the Vermlings go first. They have the lowest. The Vermlings have a base of 50. Um, so move, move, move. And he is just going to straight up attack the Void Warden. But only do one damage because I drew a negative one. Well, that's pretty sweet. Oh, the Void Warden has a dial, right? Um, hold on, what's my base hit point? Six, okay, so five. Okay. Time to attack. All right, Void Warden, what you gonna do? Void Warden is gonna move four. One, two, three, four. And then one, mm, wait, was that the one I wanted to do? Yeah. Okay. Um, one enemy within th range three automatically suffers three damage. Who do I want to attack, though? I really kind of want to kill that elite. Yeah, let's kill the elite. Let's er, start hammering on it anyway. Plus zero, so no modifier, but <sighs> still did three damage. So I'll take it. And he's number one, so I'll put that on the number one slot. I kind of, once I figured out how these things work, um, it's off screen, but let me. So there are six Vermlings, and there are six slots on this thing. And each one represents a number, and I like that. There's another one in the box that goes up to 10. That's pretty cool. Um, all right, so Mr. Elite has three damage on him. Um, so Red Hatchet, or Hatchet, Red Hook Hatchet, right, I'm getting him confused, um, is first going to... Oh, no, I'm sorry, this one. Uh, move two, one, two. Mm, one, two. I'm going to go there because I don't want that second one ganging up on me. Um, and I'm going to just do the same thing. One adjacent enemy uh, suffers three damage plus modifier. Ooh. Did I say three? I meant six damage. Wow. I, I keep... Oh, wait. Hold on. I drew two. Yeah, I want that one. Because um, I had the strength modifier. Uh, strength gives me advantage, which means I can draw two and keep the better one. Uh, if you have a disadvantage, you draw two and keep the worse one. So, okay. Uh, so he just took six damage. Oh, he is not feeling good right now. Wow, these are very quick turns. All right, because I drew the, the 2x has that symbol as well which means at the end of the round, I shuffle. Okay. Shuffled. So I only have my attacks, my final attacks left. So, who do I want? Uh, well, I guess Void Warden could go first. And no matter what, the hatchet is going last. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, because the Vermlings automatically have a 50 uh, initiative, no matter what. So, if I'm lower, I go before them. So, the Void Warden, uh, both of the Void... Bleh, that's hard. Both of the Void Warden's cards. One is a 67, one is an 89, so I'm going first no matter what. 
um, the hatchet is a 35 and an 18. So he's going last no matter what. So Void Warden, what you gonna do? I could heal. Or I could stun. <laughs> that hatchet is about to get the crap beaten out of him. Um... <laughs> okay, so my first ability, I'm going to use uh, one ally within range three may perform an attack of two damage with there is no disability uh, or disadvantage two four damage pew the elite is dead I'm gonna put that on his card because I think there's an experience system I haven't gotten that far yet um and then lure of the void so I use the top so this one I have to use the bottom oh hey look one ally within range three <laughs> may perform oh well i can't so may perform an attack of three damage and if they do they suffer one damage but i'm not close enough i can't do anything <sighs> okay one two um that's gonna do two damage oh four damage i'm down to two hit points and that one's going to do two damage. Three damage. Hatchet is already exhausted. It is up to the Void Warden now, who has no attacks of their own. I'm not going to win this game. This could be a short video. <sighs> well, I killed one thing. All right, so the Void Warden is needs to take a short rest. So to take a short rest, you take your deck, your whole discard pile, you remove one card at random. All right, so the hatchet is gone. What do I want to do? I really should have healed him. Um, all of this... Everything that the Void Warden does is one ally does this, one ally does this. None of the Vermlings are adjacent to each other, so... I literally... I can't attack myself. All I can do is force other things. So, all right. I think I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to bottle up. I got there is there is no good choices here. I have very few move cards. I definitely need to move. I need to get the heck out of dodge because those things are going to attack me. Um I don't want to waste that. So I will use that. I 
Okay, that's what I'm gonna have to do. All right, so I have, I'm gonna use the move ability on Wicked Scratch, uh, which moves me up to two hexes, and then I can take an advantage, which is awesome. Um, and then turn out the lights on this one, which allows me to do, my only attack is a range three, uh, but it does three damage. So yeah, we're gonna do that. Um, and I'm going to put myself so that I'm going before them. So I'm going to move. Two. Uh, but I don't want to move two all the way. Because I want to keep enemies within range. All right, and then I'm gonna do my attack one, two, three, plus modifier, but I have, I moved and strengthened, so I gained advantage. Um, well, we're gonna take this, the plus one, and do three damage, hold on. To this guy. Oh, I am screwing myself, but it's my only option. Okay. One, two, three. Oh, Lord. Okay. Okay, so all I can do now, the only moves I have left, is I can heal and stun. But this puts me, oops, this goes over here. This puts me ahead of them, so I'm at least going to heal two. Well, no, I can only heal one because I'm down to six. Or I'm down to five and I have six hit points. Um, all right, cool. And then stun, I don't know what token stun is. I guess I'll just lay him down. Okay. So that's my thing. Boom. Two attack. Minus one. So we only did one damage. Thank goodness. Two. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Minus two. So he did no damage. I live to survive another day. Um... I do need to look things up as far as... Okay, so I have to short rest again. All right. Um, so he's back up. So I'm going to move and do my attack thing again. So I'm going to move to and strengthen, which is nice. Okay, so I gain advantage. And then turn out the lights, which is I'm going to attack for three damage at range three. And I'm going to attack Mr. Dude here that I have already... He's one point away from death. Well, <laughs> either one works for me, uh, so he is dead. <sighs> Which leaves me... Screwed, still. All right. So he's going to do two damage to me. So I'm down to three hit points. My only moves left. Move uh, or heal. Um, I keep getting these abilities that would allow me to, allow, to have monsters attack each other. 
but they're not adjacent, so I'm hosed. Um, so I'm just, oh, shoot, I can't do that. I'm just going to heal, and then, yeah, that's all I can do. So heal two damage. Um, and then I have to rest again. I am running out of cards very quickly here. Okay. Um, okay. Oh, this actually works. If I let them go first, which I have to, unless I use this card, um, I have a front or top and bottom that allow me to, that they'll be uh, next to each other. So uh, that will allow me to have them hit each other, I guess. Yeah. Of course, they're at full health, so that's not really going to help me. But all right, so they're going to go first. He's already there. Uh, he's going to do two damage to me. That was a zero. This one is not able to do any damage to me because he can't get in there with me. Um, all right. I can't win this. This is, this is the tutorial and I have already died because the Void Warden just plain sucks. I'm sure the Void Warden becomes more powerful later. I think I'll retry this with other characters. Um, all right, so the first one, enemy is going, this guy is gonna attack this one for three. Three damage, all right. That was a plus zero. Um, so five is at three damage. And then I'm gonna use the same basic concept to do have this guy do two damage to him, but it's three damage. Um, his number is four. Well, um, all right, new turn. No longer have that. Okay, so I'm gonna go first this time. I have not even been mentioning these. I'm going to heal two. Oh, wrong direction. I healed myself so well, I hurt myself. Uh, and then force one enemy within range three to perform an attack of three. Um, so this little guy here is gonna hit this thing. I don't, I don't think I can do this though. So he's gonna double damage so this one is so five is dead however if at any time I am unable to play two cards at the start of my round I am exhausted so that's it I lost I winnowed them down to one guy and he's only got two hit points left but I'm out of cards so I'm done. That's uh, all right. Still having the same opinions on Gloomhaven. I really am. I, well, I really want to give it a try. I mean, like I know how hugely popular this is and maybe I just need better characters. Maybe I need to level up my characters. Both of my characters felt incredibly weak. I mean, the synopsis, uh, the scenario, synopsis, whatever you want to call it, sets my characters up as badasses, like the toughest of the mercenaries. Um, you know, the, the jaws of the lion or the best mercenaries, what is it, like, of Gloomhaven. I sure didn't feel like it. These little rat kobold things came and punked me fast. Um... 
Yeah, I, I think a lot of it, though, was the Void Warden. The Void Warden... I don't think, from going forward, I think I'll switch characters. I don't think the Void Warden is good unless you're playing a full four people. Um, because the Void Warden literally only has one card in their starting deck that allows them to attack. That's it. One. Uh, and that's top and bottom. Um, let me see here. Suggestion. Um, force one enemy to attack. Okay, I mean, that's handy. That's, that's really handy. Only if they're adjacent. When I started this mission, they were spread out. Uh, the only two that were adjacent were too far for me to get to. Um, or move and muddle. Okay, support, cool. Um, one, ally attacks. And there is very specific language. It is an ally. You cannot attack yourself. Um, or he heal. This is my one attack. Uh, nope, turn off the lights. Nope. Yeah, no, no, th this is it. Uh, attack up to range three. One enemy within three hexes suffers three damage. The bottom action is force an enemy to perform an attack. So I have one damage card. Heal or move. Stun or let an ally attack. Ally attack or move and strengthen. This is my one attack card. So yeah, I think the Void Warden, I should have gone with the Red Hook or the Demolitionist because they're both damage dealers. And that's what I needed in this. Um, yeah, the Void Warden, I mean, the, the Hatchet died fast, but that's because he was the only one doing any kind of attacking. Um, the. Pfft. And the Hatchet actually has good attacks for the most part. Um, he's very mobile and very heavy hitter, but I just had no help. I had this crappy little Void Warden that couldn't do anything. So, um, so yeah, that was my first play of Gloomhaven, Jaws of the Lion. I'll stick with it. I'll try and maybe I'll record another one, try a different character group. We'll see. Um, so yeah, um, if you enjoyed this at all, like and subscribe, you know the deal. Uh, leave comments below. Tell me why I suck. Tell me what I did wrong here. If you're a Gloomhaven expert, I know there's a lot of people that love Gloomhaven. Like I said, it is number one on BGG for years. I can't figure out why. I just, I bought this because I want to like it. I wanna see what everybody else sees, but maybe I'm just different, I don't know. I'm going to keep trying until I'm miserable, and then, I, then I'll sell it. It's it's if I don't like it. Um, I'm sure somebody will get 20 bucks out of it or something like that. We'll see. We will see. Until then, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys had a good time, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.